Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today's video is going to be my February favorites. These are the things that I was loving in the month of February. I don't have the biggest pile of things in front of me, but the things that I have to talk about, I'm super excited about. I think I found some really cool things. I have some makeup, some TV shows, some food. I got a, got a little variety for you. I've been doing these videos for so long and I just love doing these every month. I love revisiting the things that I was loving. I love just kind of keeping track of the things that pique my interest throughout the month and I always love hearing your favorites as well. Before we hop into this month's favorites though, I did of course film this look. It should already be up on my Instagram and TikTok by the time this video goes up. This choker, I'm not sure where it's from. These earrings are from Spooky Doodle Club on Etsy and this is the Jordan Ponytail from insert name here. It's like the dark brown to purple ombre one and I love it. I have a non-affiliated code with insert name here. You can use my code BattyBean to save I think 10%. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in and chat about my favorites for February. We'll just go with makeup first because that's usually where I like to start unless I have skincare or hair care, which I do not today. The first complexion thing I have is the Milk Makeup Bionic Bronzer in the shade Time Travel. I love this. I got sent a package of their Bionic line, highlights, blushes, and bronzers, and the bronzer stands out to me so much. I'm wearing it today. It's just a, such a beautiful formula. This is what the color looks like. It's a very like jelly consistency and I just feel like it blends onto the skin so nicely. It never gets patchy on me, it never gets skippy or cakey or clumpy. It's so smooth and blends out so softly. I love this stuff. I also don't find it to be very sticky, even though it is more of this like jelly serum -y consistency. This is really cool. I've been really liking this this month. Next up, Kaleidos came out with their Smoky Nostalgia Collection, and that collection as a whole is amazing, but I do have a few standout products from it. Two of the five blushes I think I'm gonna be using a lot. Really, all five of the blushes in that collection are very much up my alley, but these two are the ones that are standing out to me the most at this very moment. I have the shades Dreamwalk and Joyride. I just love these. Joyride was a given that I was gonna love it because I love this kind of more browny, almost yellowy based blush. It's what I'm wearing as my blush today and it's just so pretty. It blends so nicely. I'm loving this blush formula. I think they killed it. They did blushes a few years ago and they've discontinued them and I'm so happy they not only brought them back but brought them back even better. So creamy and easy to work with. I love them. But yeah, I just love that color. It's so pretty. But I'm also really into Dreamwalk. I feel like pretty much all up until about very recently. I wasn't super into these more brighter, cool tone pink blushes, but lately I've really been feeling it. So this one came out at a really good time for me. I don't have a lot of blushes this color in my collection and it's just so cute. It adds just such a nice youthful glow to the skin. I love this color. I think it's adorable. I'm gonna be loving this all spring. Mark my words, this is gonna be in my spring favorites whenever I film that video at the end of March. I'm really excited about this color. But again, all five of the other ones I'm loving. I did already do a full video with the Smoky Nostalgia Collection. If you wanna see everything swatched out and used, I used two of the blushes in that video. I'm super excited about it. I'm also loving the new lip vault that came out with four new lip clays, but three of them in particular, I love. Three of the four. The main reason I'm not talking about the fourth one, Smeared Rouge, is because I simply haven't worn it on my lips yet, but I'm sure I will love that one as well. But these three, I'm gonna be wearing all the time. First is Skinship. It's what I'm wearing right now. Such a pretty, more mid-toned neutral. It's not too light, not too deep. I love this. I can see this becoming a go-to for me, for sure. Cold Smoke is delicious. I love this cool-toned, kind of mauve brown. It is so pretty. And this one is Cognac. Such a cute, grungy, bricky, brownie color. Oh, this is just such a killer vault. I'm so excited about it. I love the lip clay formula. It's so comfortable and budge proof and it feels so pillowy on the lips. I absolutely love it. I'm so excited about these. Last makeup item I have to talk about, I know, I know, smaller list this time. <laughs> I have to shout out the Odin's Eye and Angelica collab. I am so excited for her. This is the Hella palette. I've already done so many videos with this, a first impressions video, a two looks video, and an Instagram video slash TikTok. It's just gorgeous. I'm so excited for Angie. She just killed it. I love the color story. I love the mixture of grungy swampy greens with the brighter poppy pinks. I love the depth with this purple down here and some of these shimmers are just so rich and delicious and dimensional and I'm loving it. This one down here makes such a cool face highlight. River is such a standout shimmer. 
I'm just having a blast with this one and I'm so incredibly excited for her, so happy for the brand. Odin's Eye has been killing it with their collabs and I'm so pumped about it. Moving on to some food favorites. Over the last couple months, Zane and I have fell in love with the Bonza brand pasta. It is so good. It's made from chickpeas and we're obsessed with it. The box looks like this. You've probably seen it at your grocery store. I've seen this at various grocery stores, Whole Foods, Target, Publix, really a variety of them. And um, this is the cavatappi. I just love it. It has such a unique texture to it. It definitely doesn't have the same texture as traditional pasta. It's almost, I don't want to use the word chewier because that sounds negative, but it's almost a little bit chewier in texture, but I love it. I think it's so good. I find it to be very filling and it's just so tasty. I also love the bonds of mac and cheese. It's also delicious. The white cheddar, the regular cheddar, the elbows, the shells, it's all so good. Again, I love that almost chewier consistency with it. I don't know how to explain it. It's really good. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes I really do get the hankering for that typical like 99 cent craft mac and cheese in the rectangle box that's blue and yellow because that hits differently but for the most part I'm obsessed with this mac and cheese brand it is so good and last I want to talk about verb energy little backstory with this this is not sponsored at all it's gonna sound sponsored but I swear to you it's not uh, the company verb energy reached out to me wanting to send me some of their energy bars when I first read the email I was like this sounds odd, but it's intriguing. But I researched them first, because I was like, what is this brand? And basically it was started by the founders, like when they were in college basically, who wanted a boost of energy when up late studying. And they're little bars that help give you a boost of energy. They're caffeinated, they're small, they aren't like too, like too much. They don't have like that thick protein taste like a protein bar. The caffeine honestly isn't even too overwhelming either. This particular flavor is vanilla latte, but I love this one. The blueberry crisp is really good. I love the peppermint mocha. There's another one that I really like that I'm blanking on. So far I haven't tried one that I dislike and these are really nice. And for me in particular, I work in a salon and sometimes this is the best snack for me to have on deck because you start to get a little tired halfway through the day. I need a little snack. This kind of gives me the best of both worlds. It gives me a little bite to eat while also giving me a boost of energy. These are wonderful. I do have an affiliate link with the brand. It's basically like you get a huge discount on the starter kit, which has multiple flavors. And again, I've loved all the flavors. So if you're interested, please shop through my link. You will get a discount and then I'll get some commission and it's all very cool. I've been loving those. I mentioned them on a vlog a couple of vlogs ago and I was kind of taste testing them and I'm loving them. So just wanted to shout those out as well. Especially if you're someone like me who you're working a really busy job where you're moving constantly, it's a really good quick snack to have. I have a couple TV shows to shout out. I finally committed to and finished Schitt's Creek. I don't know what happened. Zane and I started it in like maybe the end of 2020, early 2021. And then I guess we just simply got distracted and never finished it. We only got through like season three. And then recently I was like, we should really restart that show and just finish it because everybody loves it. We were enjoying it. We just forgot to keep watching it. We binged it in a few weeks and it's so good. The reunion special too was so wholesome. I love it. I love those characters. I've actually been rewatching it just passively in the background if I don't have something else to watch. It's just so cute. I'm sure every single one of you has already seen it. I'm definitely late on the train with that one, but if you haven't, it's wonderful. It's definitely a specific humor type. It's a little bit drier, a little bit more. It's just a different kind of humor style. If you know, you know. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's wonderful. All the characters are amazing. Catherine O'Hara is brilliant, and I'm just obsessed with it. One of my uh, guests in my salon, actually, she had a Rose Apothecary t-shirt, and I need to get myself one. I'm probably gonna go on Tee Public soon and see if they have a sale, because I know that they'll have Schitt's Creek shirts because they have everything. I'm gonna go hunting for one. I've also been venturing out to watch the other RuPaul Drag Race shows because I've been watching the OG forever. Well, I say forever. I am not a long time watcher. I started watching it during quarantine and I binged everything and I'm caught up and I'm watching the current season now, but I wanted to start watching the other ones too. So, so far we've binged both seasons of Canada's Drag Race and I loved it. I am obsessed with Lemon. I think she is the sweetest little angel. Honestly, like so many of the queens on Canada's, I love. So talented, so kind, and I'm obsessed with it. We're about to start the UK one soon because I really wanna watch the Drag Race versus the World or whatever it's called. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I wanna catch up on some of these other ones so that I can watch that one, and I'm feeling very excited. Side note, I'm loving the current season that's ongoing as well. I don't have a favorite yet. If you have a favorite, let me know, because I can't decide who my favorite is. I love so many of them. <laughs> 
And I guess the last thing I want to chat about is Zane and I finally got to go on our belated honeymoon slash second anniversary cruise this month and it was so much fun. I did already post a vlog of it if you are interested. We were supposed to go on our honeymoon cruise May of 2020 and that's been rescheduled so many times. This wasn't even the exact same cruise we were supposed to go on. That was a West Coast dream. This was just a Caribbean one, which we've done a few times, but we weren't mad. It was still very fun, very relaxing. We love cruising. It's like our go-to vacation to just like really chill out, relax, do nothing. It's amazing. And I'm so glad we finally got to go. It was such a fun week. So yeah, these were my favorites for February. I would love to hear your thoughts. Have you tried any of these things? I would love to hear what your favorites are, whether it's makeup, skincare, hair care, food, TV shows, a trip you took. Let me know what your favorites were in February. I feel like February went by really slow in the beginning and then it just went super fast once our vacation hit and now I feel like we're already in March and it's wild. Well, we might be in March by the time this video goes up, but you know what I mean. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me your current favorite emoji. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I'm posting most days over here. Thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.